I keep getting ads for salmon skin chips. Every single one of these ads makes me want to die inside. I turn on my phone, there's a salmon skin ad. I turn off my phone. That actually, when I turn off my phone, the ads go away. But still, I'm, I keep getting them, and I think it's funny and weird, and I wanted to talk about it. There's a company out there in the world called Good Fish. They sell salmon skin chips, baby. They're making some money, I think. I don't know. I have a strong feeling they are because I keep getting the ads, so I think that's what's happening. I did the one rational thing that anyone would do if they only got salmon skin ads. I bought the product. This is that product. I purchased it with my hard-earned American dollars. At the end of this video, we're gonna try some of these fucking things, and I have a heavy feeling that they're gonna be disgusting. First, I feel like I should explain to you what the fuck I'm actually talking about. So let's do that. I saved every single ad. We're gonna go check out the ads and we're gonna see this is fucking crazy. Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Noah from the end of the video coming back to the beginning of the video. Could you please like the video? The funniest comment on this video is gonna win a $25 Amazon gift card. In order to win the gift card, you have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to turn notifications on with the fucking bell icon or I'll come over there and I'll fucking kill you. This ad is 14 seconds long. It has no audio. It says it's wildly sustainable. It's protein packed, it's seasoned to perfection. Good fish. They end on this shot of these skins. It is literally deep fried skin in a bag. I understand what their angle is, right? We are green, we're gonna make this green product, it's gonna be great for the earth. I don't buy that these people decided to make something because they care about the planet so much. They bought these waste products because they were very, very cheap, they did some magic process to it, and then they found a way that they could package it and sell it and make more money from it. And then they're using the green angle as marketing. I'm not trying to make a profit or anything. I'm making the world a better place. I am not just concerned for dying. I'm concerned that we're not fully utilizing every part of the animal. These people from Good Fish, these people are basically the Native Americans of capitalism. Native Americans of capitalism. Cancel Noah. You know how the Native Americans would hunt a buffalo and then they would make little fish hooks out of the bones? Wildly sustainable as this girl just attacks this thing. It's like Godzilla eating a sandy beachfront. Protein packed, seasoned to perfection. <laughs> Oh God. My favorite thing about all of these ads is the comments. Nobody wants your damn fish skins. Get out of here. <laughs> I like them, but it's too expensive. It should be cheap. It's fish skin. It's garbage. It's literally a garbage product. I mean, it's garbage that's been repurposed. So I guess I'm being too harsh. It's not garbage. It's magic garbage that they repurpose with their magic. Here's one with music. Doesn't that get you in the mood for eating salmon skins, guys? Woo! Mm. I just eat salmon skins and listen to techno music. Just look at how like dead her face is, right? They are so good and so crispy. But honestly, they are so good. Mm. I'm so crispy. My other favorite thing about this is like the end of her testimony. As she says they're crispy, you can see like the screaming of her soul in her eyes. You can see the anguish in her face. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, they're so good and so crispy. Uh, there's a good fish employee behind the camera pointing a gun at her head. And they're like, yeah, now say that they're good and say that they're recycled. Say that they're crispy. <laughs> Say it, Barbara. Potato chips, nasty. Two grams of protein, 23 carbs. Good fish, 10 grams of fish protein, and zero carbs. The obvious answer. You could eat delicious potatoes that have been deep fried and sun kissed by God, but they're slightly bad for you. Or you could have our chips that are garbage. Delicious potato chip, nasty garbage from the garbage. I just think that life is too short for us to like eat fish skins and just pretend that we're enjoying it. Wow, these are so expensive. This bag is $25. That's wild. You gotta make a commitment to these chips. You're committing $25 of chip action. Let's look at some of these reviews, boys. <laughs> Throw these a funeral. Bury these deep into the ground. Deeper from the sea in which they came. 
These might as well have been the smelliest, nastiest, and most expensive cat treats I have ever purchased. Even my cat and dogs turned their nose up at them. Even Jesus Christ himself can't save this one. If Jesus were walking on water and smelled these, he would have drowned himself. <laughs> There are two ways that this company could exist. The first reality is that these chips are delicious. They taste so good and these people were right. Like the Wright brothers. They said, we know that salmon skin is delicious and by our special process, we'll bring it out and enhance that flavor. These people are good people. There's demand for this product. It's a good product. Here's reality number two. This company makes most of their sales, I would imagine, from social media ads, from Facebook and Instagram. Social media ads are a funny business. I went to school for marketing. How do you get somebody to click your ad? I'll give you a guess. Do you think you wanna show people like the same boring shit that they've seen over and over and over again? I'm going to tell you, cause that's not how you wanna do it. You wanna serve people up what's called a pattern interrupt. Pattern interrupt. Pattern interrupt. Pattern interrupt is something that speaks so viscerally to that monkey brain inside of your head that it makes you stop doing what you're doing and go, huh, what's going on? And good fish have created a product that is inherently a pattern interrupt. Every photo that they have of these chips looks so fucking wild. They found out that if they include these ads of salmon skin chips on social media, people are like, what the fuck is happening? It sounds bad for the company, but it's not bad. It's actually great. Like if you get enough attention, somebody will buy your shit. There's so many fucking people on this planet. If you can outrage people enough with your nasty ass photos of beautiful women crunching on into your nasty ass salmon skins, you can generate enough attention because the Facebook algorithm and the Instagram algorithm be like, oh, this People love looking at this ad. It's getting so much engagement. Wow! That is what I believe is the bread and butter of this company. We're gonna test my theory right now. I'm gonna eat one of these chips. These are the sea salt flavor of the chip. Um, it's definitely a ripe smell. I don't think I'm having the same customer experience as that Asian woman who looked like she had a gun to her head. <laughs> I'm so crispy. Maybe they're delicious. Okay, wow. Just look at that thing. Look at that. Here we go. Oh my god. One of the nastiest things I've ever eaten, ever. Oh, look, there's scales on this one. You see the scales on that thing? I really don't feel good, man. This is the most fucking disgusting thing in the world. Bag number two. Maybe if I try the spicy barbecue flavor, my tune will change. Okay, it smells like a bait shop where you'd go and buy minnows. Oh my god, look at how big that one is. Look at that thing. <sighs> I can't, I really thought I was gonna throw up just then. The moral of the story is that now in 2020, products are not judged based on the quality of the product. They're judged based on how much attention they can get on social media. And that sometimes creates false demand for products that actually are fucking terrible. Whenever you buy anything online or whenever you look at anything online, understand that you might be contributing to something. <laughs> that is disgusting, that people are profiting off of. The other sad thing is, is that there's no going back. Hey guys, if you like this video, let me know, post a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm trying to put a lot more effort in. And if you like this video, there's probably gonna be more like it. At some point, I'll post a comment. I want to hear your thoughts. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know, post a comment. Have a good one. I'm so fucking sick of these Facebook ads. <laughs> hey, subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel, okay? Yeah, I know you're not subscribed. Fucking hit the subscribe button. Hit that goddamn bell, baby. Ah, the best comment on this fucking video gets a $25 Amazon gift card. Oh, fucking leave a comment.